to solve this i can break this summation across this plus sign to get two double summations the first one being double summation cr plus double summation cs both with the same limits r from 0 to n s from 0 to n again r from 0 to n and s from 0 to n let's solve the first double summation first since cr is independent of s i can take it outside the summation sign here to get summation cr r from 0 to n summation 1 s from 0 to n this equals n plus 1 and since it is independent of r i can take it outside of this summation as well to get n plus 1 times summation cr r from 0 to n this sum as we all know by now is 2 to the power n so my first summation becomes n plus 1 times 2 to the power n now let's solve the second summation this summation would be equal to 2 to the power n and since this would be independent of r i can take this outside to here to get 2 to the power n summation of 1 r varying from 0 to n so this term also becomes 2 to the power n n plus 1 so my answer becomes 2 to the power n plus 1 times n plus 1 hence option 3 is the correct answer